Hi guys, Jamie here. Hope you are well. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin and why I like Bitcoin so much, why I think there's a future in the currency and certainly making money out of trading from the currency, but also what you can do with it, how you can get it more importantly. And we'll also touch on the Bitcoin trading robot that I've been using successfully of late as well. Now, what is Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin is an online currency that allows you to pay for goods and services using the power of the internet. Let me just turn Skype off. Apologies. Um, um, Bitcoin was introduced in, sorry, invented in 2009 by this uh, Japanese guy, Sati Yakimoto, I think it was, something like that. Where we go, Satoshi Nakamoto. And what it allows you to do is to send Bitcoins, this online currency, through, you know, throughout the world, throughout the internet, securely and very, very cheaply in comparison to standard international bank trans transfers and bank wires. Now the website here is bitcoin.org and that has a couple of videos which explain what Bitcoin is uh, very well and it also talks you through how you can get started. Now the thing to, to understand is to get started is what you do is you need um, an online wallet so you need an e-wallet and what we can do is you can choose from uh, software wallets that's, uh, that you hold on your computer or online e-wallets a bit like uh, the internet banking that we have at the moment and some have got uh, mobile e-wallets to pay using your um, iPhone apps or web wallets online there. Now the benefits of, of both it's quite um, important to understand that with bitcoins it's a, a long character string with mixture with letters and numbers and that bitcoin is is basically as good as cash and if you lose that string there's no getting it back so if you store the, all your bitcoins on your computer and your computer is gone and you don't have a backup, then you lose all your bitcoins. So it's also, obviously you need to bear in mind to keep a backup, but then there's also online e-wallets that you can save your bitcoins in, but then obviously they're then susceptible to online cyber attacks. Now most of these uh, wallets now have bank level encryption, so that's less likely um, but there's all, there are obviously risks to, uh, to understand with that. Now I use this one, uh, blockchain. So what you can do is I'll probably do a video on how to set up a blockchain account and, and things there. But uh, it's blockchain.info and it's got a, a mobile, it's got an iOS app and it allows you to do payments on the go and, and that sort of thing as well. So blockchain is certainly what I use for my uh, wallets to keep things together. But the thing that what you need to bear in mind is is to get bitcoins you need to transfer or exchange what is in effect real, you know proper money shall we say so traditional currency that's a better phrase for it so you can have uh, dollars euros sterling or whatever and transfer that into bitcoin now you do that through a bitcoin exchange now as you know in my previous videos i'm looking at setting up a bitcoin exchange here in the uk but there's a long way to go until we get to that stage so until we do that I use something called Bitstamp. So this is the one that I use and it's called bitstamp.net. And this is the, the home page. Uh, in fact, I'm logged in, but I'll, I'll log out in just a second so we can go through the process of setting up a Bitstamp account. Now, as you can see here, this is the um, price graph for Bitcoin for the last, it's 12 months now, isn't it? So 12 months ago, I was introduced to Bitcoin in February uh, when the price was here. It was about $12, $15 a coin. And then everybody got really giddy about Bitcoin around in April time and it peaked to around 240, I believe it was, dollars. Now, obviously, as with anything, when you get hype and you get you know a lot of media attention and, and you get a lot of people saying things that they don't quite understand how Bitcoin works, that has a lot of attention on it. So people jump on the bandwagon. But very quickly, the market equalized out as it always does. And now since uh, the end of April, early May, we've been bumbling around between... That's what, about 90 uh, to 120, and we're currently on $127 per coin. So if you bought some coins back here when it was $15, and you want to sell them now at $127, that's not a bad return on what is in effect a few months worth of, of trading. Now, as we've talked about before with Bitcoin, you can mine them and make money mining, but it's very difficult to make money mining now unless you have specific, uh, specialist boxes and devices, which are quite expensive. Or you can trade them, and this is what I'm heavily getting into now is, is trading bitcoins because I've been introduced to this thing here called the Bitcoin trading robot. 
Now you can get to it through uh, bitcoinwithjamie.com for the time being. And what the Bitcoin robot does is it links into your trading account. And again, I'll do another video to set that up later. This might sound a little bit confusing, but once you've gone through the process, it's very, very straightforward. But it links with your trading account. And as you can see here, the automated profit here is at 67,000 on a $5,000 account. And counting, and they've been doing that now for, in fact, there's a graph here, since July, uh, which is, you know, pretty uh, pretty incredible. But uh, I'll let you go through this later. This, this video isn't about the Bitcoin robot, but it is to introduce you to the robot. The video mainly is to find out how to get Bitcoins in the first place. So what we'll do is there are a whole different host of exchanges out there. And the reason why I like Bitstamp, firstly I've used it so I know that it works and it knows that it's trustworthy, but also that it's quick and it's relatively straightforward because what happens is, and this is where it might appear a little bit cumbersome to start with, but basically what you've got, certainly for people in the UK, is you transfer your pounds into euros and then automatically they will transfer the euros into dollars and then you transfer the dollars into Bitcoin. And then when you have the Bitcoins, you transfer the Bitcoins into the trading. Are you with me so far? <laughs> okay. Now, unfortunately, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to set up my own exchange. That I've not found a company that I'm happy with where you can transfer, oops, where you can transfer pounds straight into bitcoins. Um, so there's there's no exchange that I've seen that, that does that that I'm happy with at this time. So this is why I recommend using Bitstamp. So what I will do is I'll go through the process. Um, you can just open an account uh, using some details here. But what I'll do is I'll just log into mine using the details that's brought up Hootsuite, surprisingly. Let me bring that up here. There we go, Bitstamp. So in here is your trading, sorry, your Bitstamp account. Now that's my customer ID. Oops, that's my customer ID here. At the minute I've got no Bitcoins in and I've got no US dollar balance. So what I want to do is I want to deposit and I will do a EU bank transfer and the amount in euros I want to do, I want to do 200 pounds. In fact, no, I'll do 190 because it costs 10 pounds to transfer. So in euros, it's 227 euros. So I type in here, 227, press deposit. So what I need to do now is send my 227 to these details here. So it goes to the bank account in Slovenia. And what happens is it generally takes about 12 to 24 hours to process the deposit. So I'll go into my internet banking and transfer this across now. And when it appears into the account, I can then pick up this video where we left off and then go through the rest of the process. So I will sign off for now and I will see you guys in the next chapter. Hi guys, Jamie back again. Hope you are well. Now, the afternoon has passed since I recorded the first part of this video. And unfortunately, the funds haven't been transferred across yet. Halifax were, uh, were giving me silly messages on the internet banking. But what I thought I would do is to kind of draw a line under this, is to fully highlight the process. Then you know how to exactly set everything up and we'll we'll just go through that now so as a little bit of a recap I know you have just watched it but for me so I can get back in the groove um, what we did this morning was set up an account with Bitstamp and then we sent a wire transfer to the details that Bitstamp uh, have given us so what we need to do now is once we've got the money in euros in the Bitstamp account they are then converted into bitcoins when they're in bitcoins we then have to send them to this company here. And the company is called BTCE. And this is a online broker that exchange Bitcoins and it's kind of a financial trading platform. And this is the platform that the robot uh, use to do all their trades. So to create an account here is very straightforward. You go to btc-e.com. So we go up there to btc-e.com. -E and we go to sign up. 
Now, you key in the usual registration details here. Now, I might, I might have said before that I'm setting this up for a client, so I'm just going to pop his details in here. And obviously, I've hidden his details for his uh, privacy. So we log in. And as you can see there, I've, I've logged in as him. He's got no money in the US dollar pot and no money in the Bitcoin pot. And the way that we can tell here is, I'm not going to go into all these other ones, but uh, there are a different uh, number of online currencies. Uh, and uh, my preference is Bitcoins at the minute. Litecoins is kind of the silver to Bitcoins gold. But I don't want to confuse things just yet. Now, what we do to get the funds across is we want to deposit Bitcoin. So we hit deposit. And then this brings up our Bitcoin address when it thinks about it. And what we do with that Bitcoin address is we copy that and then we paste it over to the Bitstamp address. So when we withdraw money from our Bitstamp address, here we go. When we withdraw money from our Bitstamp address, we are sending it to this address here. So you simply hit copy. You go over to Bitstamp. Uh, you go to the home, sorry, go to my account rather, go to withdrawal, and if there was money in there, sorry, we go to Bitcoin, the Bitcoin address, we can we paste that address in here, and then it says here how many coins we have available, we key in there and hit withdraw. Now the process is usually fairly instantly, it sometimes does take up to 24 hours, but from there, the money is then in the Bitcoin balance here. So we've then successfully got our coins from the broker, from the exchanger rather, into our trading account. The last step we then do is set up the trading account with the trading robot. Now, firstly, if you've not done already, you need to buy a license for the Bitcoin robot. And there are three licenses available. We've got uh, silver, gold, or platinum. Now, the main differences between the two, in fact, are the only differences between the two, is the fact that a gold and platinum license are run on the cloud. They're on a, a virtual private server. So you don't need to have your computer running all the time. And this is vitally, vitally important because if you purchase a silver plan, yes, it's slightly cheaper and you can upgrade later, but I'd suggest that you go for a gold or platinum plan. But if you purchase a silver plan, it means that your computer has to be running all the time. You have to be connected to the internet all the time, so obviously you've got electricity costs and wear and tear on your machine to, to factor in. Whereas if you pay for a gold or platinum plan, it's hosted on the cloud and you don't even need to think about it, you don't need to log in, you don't need to do anything once it's set up. So uh, if you look here, you've got a gold plan for $248 and then a platinum for $498. And again, the difference between these two is this one comes with one year's worth of VPS hosting, one year's worth of hosting, and this comes with three years worth of hosting. So we don't know at this stage how much year two is going to cost. I'd suggest it's going to be about the same, I would expect. Um, but obviously the most cost effective license is this one. But if you're just dipping the toe and looking uh, to see how we get on, then I'd, I'd go with this license here. With all of the licenses, there is a 30, sorry, there is a 60 day money back guarantee. So if the robot hasn't done what it, uh, is saying that it's going to do after 50 days, you can get your money back without question. So that's uh, a good safety net to bear in mind. So once we've bought the license, we then log in. So I've gone through the login process and as you can see, I'm logged in as this guy here. And what we've got here is robot one and it said it's inactive at the minute. So what we need to do is click for details and then it's telling us here on the left hand side that we need to uh, set up the API key. So the, uh, this is the way that it links the robot to the trading account. Now, we, what we need to do here is go back to our BTCE profile. We click on API keys. And we need to create a key name. So I'm going to call it BTC robot. Click create. And now we have a key and a secret key. Now, obviously, I'm going to blank these uh, figures out. So it's a secure for, uh, for my client here. So I, I copy the key to start with. We go back to his account, click that there. We then go back and get the secret key. We copy that and we paste that in there. 
We can set different settings. So you can have a conservative, a medium risk, or an aggressive, or if you re want, really want to delve into everything, you can click custom. Now my setting is medium risk, so we'll leave that as medium. We've pasted them in there, and then we turn the robot on. So we need to drag that across there and turn it on and press save. Now I'm not going to do that just yet because obviously the key, the coins aren't in and I don't really want to mess anything up and turn it on when there's nothing for it to trade, but I will save that at the moment. So all the keys and everything are in, ready to go. We now just need the coins. So a little bit of a, a last summary about the, the trading robot and the activity that it produces. Let's go up a little bit before my battery on my mouse runs out. Here we go. Let me find it. Sorry, there we go. So here we have an example of a trading account uh, that it has been running since the 20th, I think it's the mid of, mid July, uh, end of July, 25th of July, with uh, it, the fund level was $12,500. And as you can see, the fund level now is $17,500. So the growth that that account has been through since that has been running is is quite substantial and, and these are the active trades that are happening at the moment for this trading account that it's uh, showing here and what also happens down at the bottom is shows you the the members give them a little bit of a uh, obviously an anonymity but it shows you how much are in profit when they're joined and the license type as well so it'll only show that if you're a gold or a platinum license because obviously those details are hosted in the cloud in on their servers so guys, that is a very quick whistle stop tour really in how to set up bitcoins or rather how to convert traditional currencies into bitcoins, then how to put bitcoins into a trading account and then how to link your trading account with your bitcoin robot. So I hope that's been of benefit. If you have any questions, you're best connecting me connecting with me on Skype or Facebook. My Skype is Ref Jamie. Facebook is facebook.com slash the Jamie Waters. The details will be in the description below. I hope you enjoy Bitcoin journey, whether it's trading or whether it's uh, storing them or, or whatever it is that you do, whatever it is, as long as it's Bitcoin, I'm not really bothered. But I hope you are well. Hope that's been a benefit. But whatever you do, I will see you in the next chapter. Thanks then and bye for now.